Hey, what's up guys, Zach Calhoun here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a high converting funnel for your photography business, specifically for photography, virtual tours, etc. If you, if, you, if you shoot drones, if you shoot photos, if you shoot digital media, Google Street View, any of, that, any of those things, like a bunch of our cloud pano users do, um, this will be a quick masterclass on how to build a funnel for your business. Um, that converts. And what is a funnel versus a website? I will talk about that as we go. But when you log into app.leadstack.ai or just go to leadstack.ai and create a free account, you will see a big button that says sites right here. Okay, you click that and there will be a preloaded funnel already built inside your account. And it looks like this, so you're gonna love it. I'm gonna show it to you here in a moment. And of course, if you want to, you can... I'm gonna even show you, I'm gonna set a, a domain name is here as, as well, just so I can give you a quick preview. Um, but, but over here to the left, there's steps. So we have two steps here, it says home and thank you, because we're keeping it very simple, very sweet, short and sweet. Um, because I, I've assigned a domain name, which you can assign any domain name for you or for clients. So if you wanna build these for clients, you can do that. And I'll show you some templatized versions as well here in a moment. Um, when you add a domain name to your funnel, I'm just gonna quickly show you a preview. This is what you're gonna see. And the components here are very, very important. So let's talk about them real quick um, because what you want to do on every funnel that converts is you want to show off what you do, with what you, who you are. If you have a logo, show it. Talk about yourself. And then, of course, how to move forward, how to work with you, right? What do we do? So this right here to the left is a lead form, okay? So when you add your information in here, I'm just going to do it real fast just for fun to show it to you. I'm going to say hi. It takes you to the next step, okay? This is very, very important to convert leads, keeping it really, really simple, okay? So this is the next page. This is called our thank you page. So those are our components. We have our landing page, we have our thank you page. And also there's a phone number here as well. You can click to dial as well. So when a consumer clicks an ad, say it's, on, say it's a Google PPC ad, right? They click it, they're trying to figure out, am I in the right place and do I trust these people, okay? So number one, I say, cool, I see some big logos, that's pretty neat, so that's pretty high on the on the, on the website. Oh it, look, oh, it looks like, so I got their name, I got a quick summary of what they do, I'm gonna kinda look down, oh, they got some reviews here, interesting, okay, that's good. Well, let me, let me scroll down, okay, so they make virtual tours and have photography services, okay, got it, very interesting. There's human beings behind the product. There's a team that's here and they're doing, they have equipment, okay, they're doing something, so about them, all right, nice. They look, they work with some pretty big customers, it looks like, it looks like they have some big names here they're featuring, right? Um, they also have, it looks like some national reach, so they have some big promises, some big things they do. Okay, great, big deal. Oh, I see some logos that I recognize. So what, what, am, I, what am I talking about here? What I'm, what I'm showing you here is that and of course, we have some examples. So here's some examples. In this case, this is a 360 virtual tour of a of a Trump hotel. Really, really cool and beautiful hotel. So you can kind of click through and get some examples. Okay, this is beautiful. I like what I'm seeing here. The whole time I'm scrolling through this, so I have automotive, I have real estate. The whole time I have a summary of services, there's a big button that says work with us. And you notice when my mouse left the screen, the center of the screen says check our pricing and availability. That's called a popover, a pop-up. This lead captured element, this pop-up or popover, is powerful because what happens when people are looking at websites or shopping around is they get distracted. Oftentimes they have a thousand tabs open or all your competitors are open, right? And really, you know, if they're not ready to call you just yet and move forward, they may be ready to check your pricing out. What does it cost? That's the number one thing folks ask, what does it cost? Are they available? How fast can they come out? I'm ready now, right? So when you add your information in here, that when they click continue, it goes to that thank you page I showed you a moment ago. And of course you can exit out of it as well. Having this be central on the screen is super important, okay? This helps capture leads fast and efficiently. And of course, as you're scrolling, scrolling through, you see there's an option to move forward pretty much always on the page, okay? And of course, there's some social media stuff down here as well too, and there's a chat bot which we can discuss in a future video. But overall, this type of page that has pre-existing examples already in it and shows off some good work, and of course, you can easily customize, is powerful, and will convert. I can show you some, some stats later if, you, if you'd like to see them, but we've, we've run traffic to this funnel and we've, we've picked up leads every single day from these types of services. Um, so, this is what the front page looks like. Let's discuss the second page I, I talked a moment ago, and look, when I click work with us, this popover comes up. 
I'm going to real quick just add something here and click continue. When you capture this lead, this will be, that, that information is added to your contacts inside Lead Stack. So, you, so you'll get an, an alert that says, if you set it this way, you can get an alert that says, new lead, call them right away. So this is really important. You or your sales team can be assigned a lead and you can call them and connect them really, really fast. Very, very important, very, very powerful. Also here is the calendar. This is the Lead Stack calendar. This is important because what it looks like is that you, as a marketer or as a local service provider, have a time where someone can talk to you. They can set up a call. And if you click book an appointment, and actually now what you, what you have is a 30 minute call booked on your calendar where, someone can, calendar where someone can ask you questions and discuss their project. And of course, if they have a really big project, they're gonna tell you about it right here. Hey, I got 15 homes I need shot. Or hey, hey I, need, I need three hotels done. Or hey, I, you know, when, when this stuff gets filled out, there's typically a very big reason or project behind it. And if it's a bad lead or a small lead, you can kick it to one of your VAs or one of your, one of your uh, sales team members to take as well. Okay. So that's how that works. Really powerful. I'll make sure you, you under, uh, know what it looks like. Okay. So, so how do we customize this to our liking quickly and easily? Okay. Let me show you. So if you go back into the Lead Stack Editor, you'll see here you got the home page step one and thank you page step two. I showed you a moment ago what it looks like live on a URL, right? Well, to edit this is very simple. And you can even create a split test and do some fancy things like add products, et cetera. We'll come back to selling, adding and selling products later on. Right now, I just wanna show you how do I edit this thing. So you click edit right here, this big yellow button. You can click edit page or edit in new tabs. I'm gonna click edit in new tab to show you. It's gonna load the builder, okay? The builder, is really it's very it's very similar to most builders that you probably see out there and if you do any kind of web design or film design you you've seen very similar things okay and so let's just start top left you have desktop view mobile view all right you want to check both of those um, and you can change some settings as well seo metadata you have some tracking codes um, etc if you want to check if you want to edit your your pop-up you just click pop-up and it pops up right here you can edit it as well um, so quickly, I'm going to kind of show you when I'm hovering over these different sections, different colors are popping up and each color has a kind of its own, um, it's, it represents an element or a structure within that specific part of the funnel. So if I wanted to go in here and change something, I just click it and I say photography services today, I could do that and then when I click save, that's gonna be there. And also I can check how it looks on mobile really quickly to scroll down and there's today. Okay, so that is an instant change. Once, once you click save, it's done. Um, you can add images, obviously little headlines as well. And so I'm gonna show you what it looks like to add a new section and just kind of play with it here. Okay, so this right here, I'm gonna click. So if you hover over different portions, um, you will see that we have this large green type section. Okay, and you have a smaller blue type section. I'm calling everything a section for now, just, just, just to kind of keep the term simple. Um, I don't even uh, necessarily use the the rows and columns and, and terminology. I just keep it really, really, really simple. It's like my, my, my goal in life is to keep things simple, right? So if I'm going to, let's say I want to copy a, a, a style of something or copy a section almost exactly, there's a little duplicate button. You click duplicate and it will duplicate that entire section down below it. So real quick, I'm going to show you. So I click duplicate and look below. Now I have this section with two pictures and a headline here. So if I want to go inside, let's say this specific section, and I want to add something new. See, I want to add three rows. So I click this little blue dot because these, these blue dots will give you the option to add columns. So I want to add three columns. So I add three columns and now I have this section with three columns in it. Okay, interesting. So now it says if I want to add an element, I just click the little orange dot. All right, cool. What, what can I add in here? Well, elements is where you kind of add your stuff. Okay, I'm, I can add a headline. Um, I can add a subheadline, and it's in black letters right now. So I'm going to show you in white. So it pops out. Oop, I'm sorry, these are bolded. So I'm going to change the white. So, if, so you can see you have bold colors here, and you also have non bold colors. You see how it changes really easily. Um, and then also, too, I can add an image if I want to. So, or I can add a button right here, and I can add an image just to. To show you some examples, it's kind of moving fast. Obviously, you're going to use this yourself and play with it. And then you can kind of drag and drop and drag around how big the sizes are, right? So let's say my button here in the middle, 
and I want this to be like, to talk about something or to give some more details or be a bullet list. So I can go in here, add a bullet list, and quickly I can add some cool stuff. Icon color can be white. Um, it says here's some stuff. Um, here is more stuff, etc. And you can add so quickly, easily add headlines, add buttons, and you can add images as well. So when you add an image, you can upload images. So I'm just gonna um, let's just find one here. Let's just upload anything. Let's upload this. So you can upload upload an image, or you can also generate some images, images with AI. So it's really, really cool. So check this out. I can create an image using AI. I can click an animated image. I can just type in a prompt. Let's say I want to say um, SEO icon. Let's just say robot uh, for SEO website. I don't know. I'm just going to pick something. Uh, click generate. And you give it a moment, and it will pick a, it will generate an AI image. Here he is. What's up, buddy? Let's have this guy be my guy. Okay. Go to AI content folder, double click, and boom, there he is. Okay, and you can add any prompt you want there. And of course, you can customize this guy a little bit. So you add some themes. So you want to add a frame around it or a certain type of shadow, but you don't want to use any CSS or any code. No problem. Me either. Just click a theme and, and make those quick updates right there. It kind of adds a good transition on the on the back of whatever image you, you have as well. Also, too, quickly, you can add you know buttons, right? So what buttons do stuff, they also have so they have text on them. So you'll see like I like to use the word continue here, you know, um, et cetera, or, you know, check pricing, or you could say continue here, you know, check our pricing is it called the subtext. So you can see here, this button has quickly, you can have the, have the head of the, the button text and the subtext just right there. I know I'm talking fast. This is all stuff that you'll be able to, to do and play with and kind of mess with on your own. Okay. Um, but when you get kind of used to the editor and what you can do, you can see different, um, different like basically recurring themes so like if i want to change my font size it's going to look like this okay if i want to change the width of something i just drag it over okay um if i have misspellings anywhere excuse me just i'm just typing stuff fast okay but now we have to have an action right here right so what's the action going to be so i go here button actions and i can link to it opens the pop-up which i like to do most of the time or we have it linked to any website url and we're going to have it scroll to an element or I can look down, I can have it linked to a section that, or I can have it, you know, call or SMS or do certain things. So there's stuff you can do here, okay? And you just, you just, you just select it and you add in um, that element you, you needed to, to do for that action, okay? So I'm gonna have it just be open pop up. I'm gonna click save here. And then you can also preview it. So click preview before you wanna click save if you need to. And you can send a preview over to, say, one of your customers. Um, to, to preview and look at, but see, see here's this section here I just added. If I click continue here, the pop-up appears, okay? And the pop-up, when I click continue, that submits the page and gets us, it captures the lead, okay, adds them to contacts and starts whatever automations you have set up. Automations are super powerful, make sure you have them set up. Uh, but when that new contact is um, set up and you, it can now be, when that new contact is added to your system, you can send over to your leads, et cetera. So, or to your sales team if it's internal. So all these buttons kind of do the same thing, which is all open pop-up. And if you notice here, there's a couple small elements that are really important, I think, can help your conversion. There's no nav bar here. Hey, look at my portfolio, look at my team, look at my social media, look at all the stuff we do. No, we just want them to do one thing only. To move forward, click the big button that says get started. Okay, that's just keeping it simple. Now, let's say hypothetically you create your lease stack account and you want to get this live as fast as possible. You can change the logo, change the phone number, change the name, wherever you see Cloud Panel, which is our company, change the name. And really, you can just update some of this text. It will take you less than an hour, maybe 30 minutes. And you could just start, like get started today, click publish. You can literally run traffic to it and start collecting leads today like very, very quickly, well, which is really, really powerful. This is why it's so cool. Now, this funnel is already in your account. And yes, you probably have, you need to go in here and update your calendar as well and make sure your calendar is set up um, on your professional account and your automations are set up on your, on your professional account as well too. But if all you need is a website and you're just trying to get started to get rolling, we got one pre-built for you, bro. Just use the starter plan on Lead Stack. 
It's the lower tier plan. It gets you moving fast and it's easy. Once you feel comfortable within the platform, you can upgrade, okay? But here's something powerful as well you can do, which I think, I like to say, what, what can I do with this thing to pay for the thing really fast? Basically, what's my ROI on the tool? That's very clear and very quick, okay? I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna show you. So we have templates, okay? Templates you can use. And this, for example, is an auto dealer template that I, that I pre-installed, but I'm gonna show, I'm gonna come back to that in a second. When you click new funnel, you can start from blank and build all that stuff I showed you from scratch like we did, or you can use a template and there's all types of categories that already exist. So you click on health and wellness. Your friend is a uh, personal trainer and needs a website. No problem, bro. It's a hundred bucks a month or 50 bucks a month, whatever you want to charge for hosting, you can charge whatever you want. Um, you know, here's an example of, you know, what it looks like. And you click select and you can send over this preview of this specific funnel and or in the website example. And, edit it for them, change it for them, tell them, tell them what they like, what they don't like, and then quote them a price. So let's say it's two grand to make a website and you do it all for them, it's all and all custom, or you get your VA to build it, or you get a web designer to build it for you, to give, give, them, a, give them a username in your account, which we have unlimited unlimited users on, on, on this Lisa account. You have templates that already exist. So if you have a customer that's in mind, or someone's like, hey, listen, can you just like help me with the website, I need help with the website, et cetera, no problem, here's what it costs. You know, say you have a real estate agent, for example, and they just want a, a, a home base, bro. They just want a home base that shows them off to their customers, professional realtor services, and looks decent, get, gives some value, right? And has a very clear way to connect with them. This is a fast service that you can provide and show off their team and keep it really simple. I, I mean, you can charge 1000 to to two grand to three grand to set this up for somebody. And all you gotta do is say, hey, can you give me DNS access so I can point it, point the, point this domain name to my website builder? And once they do that, they're kind of locked in, which is cool. So you wanna also, I would, I would advise charging a recurring fee obviously as well if you're gonna build a website for somebody or a quick funnel template as well. But there's a bunch of templates in here. You can use them, test them out, try them out, see what they're like. Um, if you don't like some, don't use those ones. Uh, after a while, you'll kind of have your own playbook with your customers, what you like. And of course, ask your customers for referrals because that's how you get easy business, right? Okay, cool. So once you add that to, once you add this funnel, it will appear in your funnels, in your funnels list right here, okay? So for example, I use an auto dealer example. I quickly just added this template and added the, added the domain name and this popped up, way simple. Looking for the perfect car, T2F. So just kind of messing around showing. So you can add logos. It's a quick and easy professional example of a car dealer website. This will impress anybody and look decent and get just get the conversation started, right? Let's get the combo started, of course. So you can do that fast on Leadstack. So that's how you build phones on Leadstack. And the quickest, and there's a lot more you can do, but this is kind of the quick and dirty, quick and easy crash course on how to build funnels. And keep, keep in mind, this we call it the CP Local 360 funnel is pre-built into your campaign. This is I mean, into your campaign, into your account. This is this exists in your account, and we're updating it all the time, we're updating workflows, etc., automation, so that you have the best stuff to go scale with quickly. It's always easier when things are pre-built. Um, it took us a long time to kind of get this pre-built template up and running and working and the whole entire system in place. So use it, take advantage of it, leverage it. And then of course, run some traffic, convert some leads and let's go scale together. If you haven't already, make sure you visit Leadstack AI today. And, uh, and keep in mind, I'm going to be, uh, we have a special offer right now. So if you're seeing this, scroll below and take advantage of it. Click, click the link. I'll see you inside. All right, talk soon.